Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. The world belongs to God, the, the earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful, to live together in unity. Love and faith come together, justice, justice and, and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and, and our, our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Glory to God, glory to God, glory in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, glory in the highest. To God be glory forever. To God be glory forever. Alleluia, amen. 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 Glory to God, glory to God, glory in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, glory in the highest. To God be glory forever. To God be glory forever. Alleluia, amen. 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 Move among us, God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom, sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May, May God, God forgive you, Christ renew you and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. 
the response of faith. With the whole church, we, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 37 Don't be anxious because of the wicked. Don't envy those who do wrong. They will wither as quickly as grass and fade like the flowers of the field. Trust in God and do good. Settle down and be at peace. Let God be your deep delight and give you your heart's desire. Give your life over to God, who will bring out the best in you. Your integrity will be clear and as bright as the noonday sun. Be, be still, still in, in the, the presence, presence of God. God. Calm, Calm yourself and, and wait patiently. Don't be jealous of those who get rich or be vexed by those who are devious. Stop ranting. Control your rage. Blind anger gives birth to trouble. The wicked will be driven out. The land will belong to the humble. Turn, Turn from evil. evil. Love, Love what is good, and you will be at peace. God is a lover of justice, who will never abandon the faithful. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from Hebrews 11.29-12.2 to 12, 2. By faith the people passed through the Red Sea as on dry land, but when the Egyptians tried to do so, they were drowned. By faith the walls of Jericho fell after the army had marched around them for seven days. By faith, the prostitute Rahab, because she welcomed the spies, was not killed with those who were disobedient. And what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about Gideon, Barak, Samson and Jephthah, about David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice and gained what was promised, who shut the mouths of lions quenched the fury of the flames, and escaped the edge of the sword, whose weakness was turned to strength, and who became powerful in battle and routed foreign armies. Women received back their dead, raised to life again. There were others who were tortured, refusing to be released, so that they might gain an even better resurrection. Some faced jeers and flogging, and even chains and imprisonment. They were put to death by stoning. They were sawed in two. They were killed by the sword. They went about in sheepskins and goatskins, destitute, persecuted and mistreated. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered in deserts and mountains, living in caves and in holes in the ground. These were all commended for their faith, Yet none of them received what had been promised, since God had planned something better for us, so that only together with us would they be made perfect. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us fixing our eyes on Jesus, 
the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks, thanks be, be to, to God. God. Inspired by love and anger, disturbed by need and pain, informed of God's own bias, we ask him once again, how long must some folks suffer? How Brother Christ, who came to share our lives, to encourage and liberate us, you live amongst us all. We give thanks for dedicated people everywhere, challenging abuses of power, exposing corrupt practices, and never giving up in the struggle for climate justice. May we play our part in challenging greed and wastefulness, creating more sustainable communities and treading more lightly on the earth. For we are each of us one in a million. Together we stand strong. We pray for the priorities and concerns of the Iona community, 
for the world, for members of the Ionic community and their families, and for associate members. On the sixth day of the month, we pray for the ecumenical movement, ecumenical organisations and bodies in our own countries and worldwide, the Iona Cathedral Trustees. And we pray for the leaders and peoples of the countries of Austria, Liechtenstein, Switzerland, Germany, Belgium, Luxembourg and the Netherlands. We pray for the Iona community members belonging to the family group of Central Scotland. Jenny Barr, Alan Miller and Lucy Miller, Betty Milne, Joyce Muir and Ken, Margaret Stewart and Frank. On the sixth day of this month, we pray for associate members in the Netherlands. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. God, in whose heart is love and justice, show us this day whom we must love and what we should challenge or change in order that your will for the earth might be done. Increase, Increase our, our hope, dispel our, our apathy, inspire our imagination and deepen our commitment until we become the signs of your kingdom for which we and others pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek, seek peace and, and pursue it. it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God, God in community, holy and one.